Well, welcome back everybody to the Prime here with another game. If you have not already gone up against the new champ Smolder, this will be a gameplay video for you. We're going to talk about some BS here with these new champs. Let me tell you something. So, he is a hyperscaling champion, so what that means is you can abuse him pretty early. That is assuming that your ADC isn't a giant puss, which is, you know, something we always have to take into account. Sometimes they just aren't about that lifestyle, and in which case you are going to probably, for the most part, either just be okay with sitting in lane or be proactive on the map. And that's kind of what I had to do with this particular game. Uh, as you'll see throughout these clips, this Ezreal is not that great. So as we go through this, we'll point out the weakness and pretty much a, a fairly decent counter against you. You'll see it plenty of times in this match. Um, the free basic counter from Talon and then just a skill counter from Smolder. So we're just here roaming, trying to get these kills best we can to get our early game spike and kind of potentially snowball. So this was interesting. You know, he died. I was like, okay, whatever. See the Pantheon. Oh, I was like, oh, we got him. Dude jumps in with like 15% HP. It's like, what the hell, bro? But I mean, I committed. So I was like, why not? Let's go. At least we get a kill. I get the kill, which is always important. I uh, get trapped here. I'm trying to counter this best I can. And the Hail of Blades, I believe, was just one second off. I maybe probably could have got that kill if it wasn't. So here's the bull you got to be aware of. So I am stealth before he even casts his ability and he's hit me the entire time. I was like, what the hell? So you got to be aware of that and shake up your queuing. And if he just starts flying, he'll randomly blast you and you'll get chunked just like me. Now, the good thing is he's really weak early. So you're pretty much stronger than him. You just have to be aware of his summoners and his flight skill because he could just fly away from you. There's some more bullshit. Pop Ghost. And somehow Talon's able to <laughs> catch up with me. I'm like, this fucking kid is dumb. And I honestly believe we should have got both of these kills. Ezreal messing up. He should have fought with Pantheon and killed the Talon. Because uh, Karthus is behind enemy lines. So he's we could easily catch him up. And he, when he dies, he's going to continue. Boom, bam, boom, bop, bing, bing. So there's a good chance, like, we would full combo to him. He, he's basically less than half health. So, you know now, if he's below or around 60%, you can pretty much kill him. Here we go, we get him. He shoot me again, but I put the damage down on him quick and hard. And you shit on him early. Eventually, he's going to get very annoying, so. Got to be aware of that as well. No, their team is really tough as they have this Karthus. For some reason, Karthus is fucking tanky, guys. Like, I have no idea why he's so tanky. And he only had one item. It was kind of uh, ridiculous. And then, of course, we have Talon, who's like going to be hunting me down the entire time. And then a, a hyperscaling smolder is always going to be a problem, too. So there's a lot of threats that we have to assess who we're going to get rid of, right? Karthus, Talon, smolder. There's Ezreal missing, so I'll take that kill. <laughs> and here's the free counter here. I, For some reason, I kept missing my backstabs on him. Uh, and he would just blow me up. Standard operating procedure there. Crucial steal here. If we didn't get that, I think this game would have been done pretty quick. Good kite there. And that's how you kite... Um, Shaco, I don't, I don't know if the ult slows, but if you're smolder, as soon as Shaco pops up on you, uh, a little sad I couldn't get this. Uh, but if he pops up on you, you, cast the ult, fly, get the slow, get the kite, boom, we get that sadly ignited. Uh, and then, yeah, that's pretty much how you do. So he, he did that perfectly well. And then look at this wave player. <laughs> so I love profane so much. They're like, damn, just took all the CS. Yeah, I need it. I'm a beast. 
So here we go again. There's definitely a ward there because there's no way he pops this on me without having, you know, seen me. And, uh, yeah, of course it gets away. Team crumbles here. It's looking tough. <clears throat> There's a good flank set up. We see the smolder. There's the flash out. Boom! Big one on him. Get his support as well. And then good on the Mord for the ult to keep Talon. And now it's huge for us. Go ahead, take that dragon. And this pissed me off. I was like, man, you got to be kidding me, guys. <laughs> Nothing like your team. He was dead if my team would have just stayed where they were. But of course, they got to do some dumb shit and ruin my kill. And then they make their way out. Oof, almost think I'm dead here. Smart move would have been to back. But we always get a little greedy. I see the town, like, oh, I can burst him before he kills me. Lose vision. Oh my gosh, shit, where is he? And of course he has vision on me again. But don't worry, friends. When it counts, we make the play. This might not be it. Look how tanky this dude is. I did like no damage. Did I not backstab him? Almost got him. Damn, so close. More dies. I think we got the Baron three times this game. Try to keep the Karthus away by getting rid of his Blast Cone. I don't want this fight from him right now. I just want the dragon be on our way. And at this point, I had to make a decision of what I wanted to counter this talent. I had a couple options, but I ultimately went with um, Athena's Chain. Uh, I think it was better than maybe an Hourglass and a Spell Shield from Knight whatever. The AD Knight Spell Shield item. Uh, because I take 30% reduced damage, plus I get a bunch of HP, so I think that helps uh, quite a bit. Get caught, get kited. The fire um, from red buff. Got that slow, plus he flies away. So Ezreal, we think we have it. A little too scared, even though, you know, you just saw him kill me. Here it is again. So you miss with the ult. Now he's going to miss with the combo. Unfortunate. But there goes Mordecai's looking for the back uh, door opportunity. Gets one. He's actually doing a lot of damage to this tower. Holy. Boom. One more. Oh. Right. Now here it is. The time has come to put this talent in this place or he's coming up. This guy has a little spell shield to counter me. Thankfully my box gets him. Boom, counter that ghost on him because I know I have him. He almost killed me though, honestly. But if I didn't have uh, Athena's, I guarantee you I was dead. And then we counter the Karthus ult. He's pissed. <laughs> And since he used his flight, easy, easy walk out. Uh, here comes the cavalry. And then we proceed to push up. So, you know, sometimes I play a little risky here. I, I'd, I'd take that if I saw an opportunity. If, he, if either one of them were below 50%, <clears throat> I'd take it. And then we're so strong, we just walk it in. Uh, they essentially have an open nexus, and that was it, friends. Mm -hmm.